Hey everybody, Mrs. Bianchi here. We're looking at a question that's a little tricky. The floor plan of a movie theater is shown in the coordinate plane. The theater is in the shape of a trapezoid and has the coordinate shown. Each unit represents one meter. What is the area of the movie theater? We have a couple options for how we might approach this. Um, we could break it up into a rectangle and a triangle and just add the two separate areas together. Or we could just simply use the formula for area of a trapezoid. Both will work. So let's explore the idea of using the formula, which is area equals half the sum of the parallel sides, which we call base 1 plus base 2, times the height. All right, so we need to figure out which two lines are parallel to each other. That's this line right here and this line right here. So I'm just going to move this out of the way because we're not exploring the idea of rectangle and triangle. We're actually going to use the formula for area of a trapezoid. So let's figure out what the lengths of those lines are. So we need to know the length of this line. This line and this line are parallel to each other. Now, how would we determine how far apart these dots are? Well, first of all, we have to decide, are they in the same quadrant? And the answer to that question is yes. So in their same quadrant, Notice that the x coordinates match, the y's are what's different. When they're in the same quadrant, then we actually subtract the absolute value of the coordinates that differ from each other. So we're going to subtract the absolute value of 7 and 3, and that would end up giving us 4. All right, to get the distance between these two dots, notice that the x coordinates are matching, the y's are what differ from each other. Since they're both negative positives, that means they're in the same quadrant, we would subtract the absolute value. 7 minus 1 would give us 6. All right, so we know that one of the parallel lines is 4, and the other one is 6. Now we need to know the height. Now remember, the height has to be perpendicular to the bases, meaning it forms a 90-degree angle. That's this line right here. That's perpendicular to both the red lines. So how far apart are these dots from each other? Well, notice that the 7s... The y coordinates are both sevens, they match. So we're going to look at the x coordinates. Since they're in the same quadrant, we will be subtracting the absolute values. So the absolute value of this is eight, the absolute value of that is one. Eight minus one would give us seven. All right, so that's the height. Now, if we finish this up, we're going to add the parallel sides together. Four plus six would give us 10. And then we have to multiply by 7. Since we have an even number that we can take half of, I'm going to propose that we take half of 10, which would be 5. So the only thing left you have to do is just multiply 5 times 7, and that will be the area in square meters of the movie theater. Now another option that we could have done is we could have found the area of the rectangle. So if we found the area of the rectangle, we could have multiplied 7 times 4. That would have given us the area of this piece. 7 times 4 would be 28. And then we would have to find the area of this triangle here. I'll trace it in green. This triangle would have a base of 7, right? This line right here would be 7. And you'd have to infer the length of this piece. Now if this is 4 over here and the entire line is 6, wouldn't that mean that this piece is 2? So we would have to do area equals half of the base times height or area equals half of 7 times 2 or area equals we take half of this we get 1 and 1 times 7 is 7 so the area of the triangle would be 7 square meters and all we'd have to do is add the 7 square meters for the triangle and the 28 square meters for the rectangle together, and it should give us the same exact thing we get by doing it this way. All right, either way, you'll get the right answer.